she seemed broken. She had lines on the side of her face and scars on her arms and on her throat. And deep shadows made her eyes look hard. And when I asked her why she looked like that... I told her my life was like that. She was a child. And was she coming back tomorrow again? The next day, my soldier watched me say goodbye to my maman, boarding the train for Venice to visit my grandma. And when it moved, he was on it too. And so then, zoot, we ran through the cars like fools in a film, and then there I was with my soldier. Never mind my grandmama. Hell, she was, but with the watches of print high up on her cheeks like the women in the kind of pains. My cake company buddy told me how to go see her. And she told me she was the daughter of a French aristocrat who served as a field marshal under Napoleon. I said, sure. That's why you like soldiers. <laughs> I never let her drive me home or see where I live, but we'd sit on the beach some after I got off work and commence jabbering then one with the other, and body couldn't stop. I can talk to you. I can talk to you like to no one else ever. Why is that? I'm not a stupid country club fool anymore, not with you. Why is that? It was my sister who was beautiful, not me. That's the way our mother knew it would be, one with the beauty and one with the brains. But my soldier told me Mamo was wrong. I had both. And I did. For him, I did. I got her off the train at nice. It was all fresh air and marble. The sunlight, yes, but hectic dancing like the way that G.I. felt. He took me to Nice, to the, to the Gatai de Flo. He would beat me with flowers. I knew he had good taste. Big floats in the streets and now, covered with flowers and had beautiful French Italian girls. And I mean big, strong men beating each other in the chest with, with tulips. People passing in the night, dancing, throwing confetti in your face if they liked what they saw. And he got us the last hotel room in peace. There ain't nothing you can't say. Not to me, if, if you want. I know that. It's like in church or in the choir. Um, when I feel wonderful, when... Great feelings rise up inside me. Can you understand that? The singing, all of us together. And she said, I sing like that too, honey. Sometimes, but not in church. <laughs> Hotel, day and glass. For God's sake, room with blood red wallpapers, paintings of roses, biggest cabbages. He tore roses off the floors and brought them to be piled high in his arms. Mm, I throw roses off pieces, scatter them all over that ugly room. Rug, bed, and and I said, um, why are you here? You are my first man. I planned my life and I picked you for that. And as long as I live, I will never forget you. Now have me some soap and kiss me. <laughs> You was just, you was just scared. 
scared about getting married. That's why he done what he done to me, wasn't it? No need, honey. He, he looks like a fine young man. Uh, can I get you some cake then? No, I just want to shake hands with your husband and kiss you and go.